Welcome back. I've got a question for you. Do you remember Lady Helmore? Lady Hera Helmore? She's part of Necromunda. She is an absolute lunatic who killed a significant number of her own siblings and enjoyed hunting people for sport. She has a really good model. It's actually one of my favourite Necromunda models that she's got. It looks fancy, it looks classy, and it's being worn by an absolute nutter. A total murderer, a real and proper wrongan. Thing is, when her father, Lord Helmore, was... Well, there was an attempted assassination. There was all sorts of nonsense that went on, and she had to flee. She nearly got killed. But it's okay. It's all right. She's back. She's back. And she's wearing a Spyro suit. So <laughs> now, oh my God, the uh, the lunatic has even more toys with which to stab, choke, pull apart, melt people. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see what abilities her suit has got. But that's her. That's her in there. I want to know, are the things... That's not her hair that's, like, pulling away from her head, is it? That is just stuff plugged into her scalp. That looks extremely painful. Like, really painful. Also, is this one of the ones where you have to be heavily modified to get into it? Because I'm sure... I'm sure... Didn't we read... Didn't we read that you have to have, like... Like, bits removed to get into the heavy spyro suit. Or is it the small spyro suit that you do? I'm pretty sure one or the other, you've got you've to undergo a little bit of trimming of... Is it legs? Oh, we're going to have to look this up after this. Because I'm sure there's something like that going on. Either way, she looks terrifying. Once again, these suits look so good. They look so good. I really like the kind of alien curves to them. They look absolutely fantastic. But then you've also got, like, out and out what looks like like simple technology compared to the rest of the suit like look at the pistons on the legs the shin and like the claws and everything in fact everything about the armor plating itself is rounded and just doesn't look anything like imperium like but then you've also got these sort of more little industrial feels to it as well same thing with the claws the big old pinchy fists there like the whole suit looks like an alien invention but then it's just a big old claw. A few massive cables. There's just a cool mix. A cool mix of different things going on with these. It looks absolutely fantastic. I really, really like it. Especially the built-up carapace over the head. Like, I like that a lot. It changes the... When I say it changes the height of the model, obviously, I don't mean it like that. That's, that's not like... The perceived height of the person is what I mean. Not the height of the model. Because, of course, it changes the height of the model. The taller the model is, the higher the height of the model is. That's a nonsensical statement. What I mean is, it takes her and makes her look a lot larger than she actually is because her head, rather than being at the top where the shoulders would be, it's like sunk really quite far down in that kind of upper carapace, which I really, really like. It sort of changes, changes the changes the attitude almost it makes it look quite top heavy until you realize that the legs are also quite a bit longer than they should be like i don't know i really like what they're doing with these i really really like it we've got a fun amount of techno gubbins going on over the suit that's nice i think there's a skull on one of the robot arms i think that's a skull in fact there might be one on both but we just can't see it but that's a bit of extra decoration which is fun I feel like there might be a few skulls on her previous model, but yeah, I, 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 like, I like these so much, I want them, I want all of them, I want them right now, and that's a problem. I really do feel like the stuff they're doing for Hive Secundas, it's just like non-stop quality cool models that I want to paint, it's just, they just keep releasing or like revealing new stuff, where I go, oh, cool, I mean, I guess I'll have that too then, and that's fine, that's good, it's nice, but at the same time, I, I want them too much. I want them too much. It's becoming, I'm building a resentment here, because I need them in my life, and they're not, they're not out yet, they're not a thing yet, we can't purchase them, but I want her. I want to own the model, I want to cover it in probably, probably like, I think probably some sort of, what is it, like, not reflective, but the kind of colour shift stuff. Where it sort of it sort of changes the color depending on what angle you're looking at looking at it from. I can't remember what that that's called. There's a specific name for it, but I can't remember what it is. But I feel like that with like a sort of purple green would look really really fun. 
Ah, <sighs> one day. One day. So Lady Hera was on the hunt for the, oh sorry, sorry, the two noble siblings. She met her brother Tamino at the gates to Hive Secundus, so that's, that's why there's a, a sibling there. One of the only ones, probably, that didn't get killed by her, I'm assuming. Unless he was brought back from the dead, but that seems unlikely. Uh, probably not impossible though, right? Anyway, they're on the hunt for the legendary Svenian pattern hunting rig around potent suit thought lost long ago. Of course, you gotta have a nice rare relic thrown in there, haven't you? Once acquired and with its neural needles implanted directly into her skull, Lady Hera has ascended to hitherto unrecorded levels of ferocity. So yeah, she's got a super special spider armor, which makes her even more scary than what she was before, which is kind of impressive because she was already pretty goddamn terrifying, if you ask me. Ah, okay, so elements from a previous guy, such as a cybernetic watch goals, which help her look out for foes in the dark, have been incorporated into the suit. I thought I recognized the sword and the spear. Okay, that's really fun. So she's kept the sword, she's kept the spear, she's kept the skulls, but the skulls have been implanted onto the big claws. But yeah, okay, that's that's awesome. That's really fun. I mean, how good is this model though? How good is this model? I absolutely love this version of, of this character. It looks it looks fantastic. And now, now they've just gone and given her more stuff? Like, more powerful things to murder people with? Loving the character development of Lady Helmore here. She goes from a psychopathic murderer to a psychopathic murderer who can murder people even better than she could before. Weaponized Archeo lenses known as Medusan projectors immobilize her prey and shut down their nervous systems for easy takedowns oh dear god that's actually horrifying like that's genuinely awful and if she hunts alongside her family a simmering sibling rivalry is brought to the fore making me more reckless in combat than usual okay so if she's within nine inches of another spy hunter all her weapons gain the reckless trait okay all right oh my god jesus oh we can't have it all though we can't have it all she's gonna be forge world resin again she's gonna be forge world resin again oh man oh well i mean i'm not that surprised if i'm totally honest i mean her last model was forge world resin so it kind of makes sense that they would do the same thing wait wait Let, let's just I scrolled back up so we could take another look at her. Looks fantastic, obviously. Looks brilliant. Really like that model. It's fantastic. But uh, let's just let's just scroll down again because she will be released in Forge World Resin. Will she though? Will she be released in Forge World Resin? Because uh, I'm 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 here. I'm going to ForgeWorld.co.uk. Let's see. Oh no, that's that's just taking us to Warhammer. Um, I'm gonna search for Forge World. Um, oh, we do, we do have, we do have things tagged as Forge World. I imagine this is just everything that Forge World would make. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. So interesting. They are still using the term Forge World, even though Forge World as an entity doesn't really show up. There's a tag for it. There's a tag for it. But like, if you filter it then what it says is 15 plus resin. It doesn't say, like, sort by Forge World. There, there's nothing like that on the store. If I, I've never actually thought to try this. Let's have a quick... This is this is devolved, hasn't it? This is just absolutely falling apart, this video. Complete resin kit. Yeah, no, there's no... I'm, I'm not trying to be pedantic here. I'm just super curious. Okay, so that's referring to an in-universe Forge World. But beyond that, that's the only mention of Forge World. Okay, so <laughs> that's going to... Look, look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm genuinely not trying to, like, be awkward or, like, take the piss. That's just actually going to be confusing for some people. Because, like, we know, we know what Forge World was and that Forge World is now, like, not really a thing, but it is kind of a thing. The models that Forge World were making are still being made, they're still being sold, but, like... Branding wise, name wise, it shows up on the Warhammer.com site under 15 plus resin because even though it's made in Forge World, Forge World's own separate entity doesn't really show up. That's a thing. If you go to the if you go to Warhammer World, does the Forge World shop still say Forge World on it? I'm assuming it does, but I've not been for a while. And do the boxes still say Forge World? Because that's also kind of not necessarily like confusing, confusing, but it, it's weird to abandon the customer facing like point of contact name of forge world and then to have everything still refer to it because surely if you're new if you're just like i like that model i'm gonna buy it why have i got a parcel from this company that isn't 
Warhammer, even though I ordered from what I don't know. Just an interesting thing. I just jumped out at me. I just didn't think they were still going to use that use that phrase, but they are. So whatever. What are we talking about? Oh yeah, her. Yeah, she looks fantastic. Really like her. That was <laughs> what a totally pointless tangent that was. Seems to be the day for that, to be honest. If you're a member or a patron, then uh, I put up a video earlier that you probably don't really want to watch, but she looks great. Like it a lot. Nicely done. Ten out of ten. Anyway, with all of that mess out of the way. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And in the meantime, click all the stuff and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.